Okay. Here we have triangle ABC has coordinates negative 3, 1, negative 3, 5, 5. On the y axis. Okay. That's the base. Negative 3, 1, negative 3. Okay. Negative, negative 3, 2. Negative 3, 2. Then 1. Okay. 1. 1, negative 3. Negative 3, 2. 1, negative 3. 1, negative, negative 3. Then, 5, 5. This is my case. This is R. This is uh, Q. And this is P. Okay, we have three points. I'll try to transform these points, or these triangles, in their transformation, in their reflection on the y axis. Uh, as a y axis, you should write the, your matrix. What is the matrix for reflection is what? Negative 1, 0, then 0, 1. Good one. To calculate the limit of PQR and the reflection in the y axis, pre multiply as the other one. <coughs> what is your uh, matrix of reflection in the y axis, Mr. Uh, Sweeney? Oh, sorry, Mr. Uh, Mr. Khaled Ahmed. Yes? Minus one, good boy, zero. Then zero, one, excellent. Multiply by, write this as a common factor vector, it will be negative three, two. Okay, then. So now you can multiply. Negative one multiplied by negative three is three. Zero plus multiplied by two is zero. Negative three plus zero is three. Okay. Now the next one by the first one. Zero by negative three is zero. One by two is two. Hence that P of coordinates negative 3, 2, maps into P prime of coordinates 3, 2. Okay? Good boy. Then, this one also. Mr. Abdullah. This is the matrix for transformation in the y axis. Negative 1, 0, 0, 1. Multiply by what? Multiply by what? Multiply by the coordinates of U, but write it as a current vector. It will be 1, negative 3. This is matrix of order 2, this is matrix of order 2 by 1, and this one is a matrix of order 2 by 1. So just multiply both matrices to find the image. Okay? So negative 1 multiplied by 1 matrix, negative 1, this line multiplied by that. Negative by 1 is negative, plus 0 by negative 3 is 0. Negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. Then multiply the second row by the first column. 0 by 1 is 0, plus 1 by negative 3 is negative 3. 0 plus negative 3 is negative 3. So I'll just write the coordinates, hence that Q of coordinates 1, negative 3, max into Q prime of coordinates negative 1, 3, negative 1, just a moment, negative 1, yes, negative 3. Okay. The last, here we have what matrix? We have negative 1, 0, the matrix for transformation of y axis, 0, 1. Multiply by this by 5 right as the current vector should be equal to what we get. So multiply the first one by the first column. Minus 1 multiplied by 5 is minus 1 plus 0 by 5 is 0. Minus 1 plus minus, minus 5 plus 0 is negative. Minus 5 plus 0 is negative 5. Then multiply the second row by the first column. 0 by 5 is 0 plus 1 by 5 is 5. 5 plus 0 is 5. Now, we can conclude that. The coordinates of R is 5, 5. After transforming this in the y-axis, okay, using the algebraic techniques, not geometric techniques, geometric, geometric techniques, sorry, it will be what? Negative 5, 5. Good boy. So now we can conclude and write the coordinates of P prime. It will be 3, 2, then negative 1, negative 3, and then negative 5, 5. Okay.